Welcome, welcome to the show. It is me. It is me, your girl Labor Lee, aka Cat Lee. And you have now tuned in to Ambitiously the Podcast. I'm just saying, it's just me. It's just me. Um, what's up, hi baby? So uh, first before I get into any of my shenanigans, yes, it is definitely Definitely, definitely. Hold on. We got to do it right. We can't be out here moving crazy. Um, It's definitely media my day. Hey, what's up? It's media my day. Today is the day that we get into whatever's happening, wherever it's happening. What's the word? I'm going to give it to you. That's what it is. Um, Let me get into these comments real quick. All right. So the first thing is it's media my day. Um Doc, oh hi honey. Doc Sav9112, the employee of the show, aka not Brazilian but Brazilian man. Um did I catch yes I did and we're gonna get into that too. Um I know, and as you know what, I don't know what's happening. And at this point, I'm really, 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 really not about to deal with them and bullshit. I paid my bills. My bills is paid. We doing a show. Maybe got to do a rewatch or whatever, but I feel some kind of way about what's going on with this particular streaming platform because you want me to pay my bills and you be on me like the mob but then I have laggy 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 so if it still persists let me know and I will switch it's going to take a, a quick second but I will switch over to the other service I got popping in here. Oh, we not. You know what I mean? We still popping. Like, don't ever get it twisted. Don't ever get it twisted. Um, But anyway, so, we got some things to talk about. It's me and my day. Mm, hold on. Let me get it together real, real quick. Okay, so it is me and my day. I put that up there already. So you do know the information is always scrolling at the bottom of the screen at some point in time and whenever we're doing what we're doing. But, um, you know what I mean? Join the conversation. Drop a comment. Call in. Know that you will be live on air if you call in. Um, text. I'll read the text out loud on whatever. You feel me? Or ask me to drop the link and you can actually get on here with me and have a good time too. Um, also, like, share, and subscribe. That's the likes, really, the shares is cool. The subscriptions are amazing. Like, we just need you to like, share, and subscribe. You know what I mean? Like, thank you. All right. I know you're ready for the show. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Stop. All right. <laughs> There's some things I got to get out the way, and we were having a conversation that was really supposed to be at the end of the show, but whatever. All right, so we got some people to talk about tonight. <sighs> Takashi dumbass. I keep telling y'all he a dumbass and everybody looks at me like I'm crazy. Give him a chance. Give him a chance. I'm not giving no dumbasses any kind of chances right about now. And that's it. Um, I don't think dumbasses is in the curse word category, but whatever. Or Dumas. That might be better. Dumas. But let's let's get into it. So, first of all, let's get to the shenanigans. <laughs> yeah, we're going to talk about all that. Um, let's get to the first thing first. Like, this is blowing my mind, right? So, 
I'm going to read it. And then we're going to talk about it. <laughs> Dumas. You feel me? Maybe we could pass with Dumas. You feel me? I think. <sighs> that might get us past. Mm, on the curse word category. Plus, I'm trying to stop using swear words so much. I do curse like a sailor. It's, it's, so I'm gonna just see what, what what happens. I don't. I'm not making promises, but it is. So, Cardi B's microphone went up for a six figure transaction you would add like mm, I have my talking point on that but anyway um, the new six figure transaction for um, the microphone that Cardi B chucked in, um, into her crowd sparking a police investigation has hit a snag so um, what's been said is that the winning bidder didn't pay up. So it was on auction. Let's get to it. Um, here's the deal. Cardi's um, infamous microphone is being auctioned on eBay. And the bidding um, in on Tuesday with the... Basically, my soul is ain't anyway. Um, mm, mm, mm. that microphone. Uh, it's a lot to say about what happened that day, though, and I think people don't understand. But um, Scott Fisher, the owner, the mic owner, running the auction, says, "Unfortunately, his suspicions." Can came true and the winning better failed to pay for the microphone. Um, it's also been said that the person who placed the winning bid for, um, had 48 hours to fork up the cash but didn't respond to multiple messages. Look, oh, I got so much to say about this but I'm, I'm, I'm going to hold it. So um Scott is still um Scott still has the mic. Um the proceeds from the auction were supposed to benefit charity, supposedly. Allegedly. Supposedly. Allegedly. Um and Scott says he's exploring um his options, including sending um sending a purchase offer to the second highest bidder. Um, it amazes me that the microphone is even up for auction. You feel me? Like, like that's first. I think that's really why I wanted to talk about it. Because, like, really? And I keep telling y'all, stop throwing stuff on people while they at their jobs. If you work at Chick-fil-A, do you want somebody to come to the counter and splash some stuff on you? If you work at, um, let me think, for a law firm, do you want your receptionist, do you want somebody to get an attitude because they're not moving the way they want to and splash wood on you? Like, stop throwing stuff at people while they're at their job. I don't care how bullshit, I'm sorry. Doc, is it time to, can I? See, it, I knew this was going to be a problem. Can I, um, is it, am I allowed to cuss right now? I need to know this right now. Um, but I'm at my job, dude. Not yet for cursing. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm going to hold off. Um, <laughs> Cause I got so much to, I got so much energy in this particular situation. Get with the legal pad, too funny. Listen, I got so much to say. I got nine minutes. Oh my gosh, I should have reported this first then. Because I got so much to say, and it's very hard not to cast. But 
I'm at my job, dude. Just like you may have been at your job to pay for the tickets that put you in this predicament that you were even in the opportunity to throw the water at her. I don't care if it's water. Don't throw nothing on me. You don't know what I'm wearing. Also got some announcements at the end of the show, but you don't know what I'm wearing, how much it costs. You you don't know. And <laughs> I'm I think I'm doing good. You you can make it not. No, I'm I'm trying. I think I'm doing good thus far though, Doc. I do. I feel like I'm doing good so far. But anyway, you don't know how much money it costs to put that situation together. Never mind, she's there. I don't care what you like or what you don't like about the situation. She's there. She's doing the job that she is paid to do. And then you have the audacity to throw some water like that bothers me i'm sorry all right let me move on because that really bothers you do you want somebody coming to your job doing that to you like that's foul y'all anybody it's not cardi just i'm not a a cardi b fan but i mean i I don't know i'm on the fence with cardi because we got a lot of likelihood because i promise you you throw some water on me you probably gonna get worse but I digress. I digress. Oh my Jesus. It gave me a migraine. All right. So we all know that um Tory Lanez was sentenced to 10 years. We knew this was gonna happen. It was gonna happen. The way that they, they was setting up the case, then it was gonna happen. It was gonna happen. Um everything about everything. This is going to happen. I said I'm going in and I'm going hard. But anyway. So. It's a lot. Hold on. Let me read what Doc said before I move on. Because this is just crazy. Um, The problem it was she didn't mind when she was asked to get splashed. <laughs> just not in the face. Listen, Cardi gotta do what Cardi gotta do. She was what she was, and I'm not judging nobody. I don't care about what your gender is. And I don't care what you do. People are at their jobs. It's different job types. She might have been getting splashed on, and now she don't want to be splashed. It don't matter. It's her choice. Do not throw nothing on me. Don't get um, water on cat. Period. They don't like that. We don't. Don't. Don't do it. Don't. Don't do it. Um. <laughs> no. Dot. <laughs> you don't want to get in tonight, but don't. That girl at her job. But anyway, let me move on. Okay. <laughs> Stop. See, that's what I'm saying. I'm going to save this for I'm a pen this right now because we coming back to this comment. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. Because I got to move on. But we're going to come back to this comment in a second. <laughs> second. So anyway, back to the situation. I knew this was going to happen. But anyway, so a few updates. He's been sentenced to 10 years in prison. Um, Tory's lawyer, um, Jose Baez, is ripping um, the 10-year sentence, calling it incredibly harsh and extreme and claiming that the rapper is being punished because he uh, because of his celebrity status. I, okay. Okay. Um, his lawyer also ripped the prosecutors for making an, an example out of Tory, and um, he says Tory's defense team plans on appealing. Okay, so that's what else he had to say. And hold on, I'm not done. 
because I got some things to say in 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 between each of these points that I just made. Um, so Tory Lanez addressed the court before he was sentenced, saying that he wanted a chance. Uh, he has a son who needs him, and um, well, his son needs him, and he he wants to better himself. Um. He asked the judge to allow him the opportunity to, opportunity to improve himself and understood just how serious the charges were against him. He also addressed public um the, the public views about him, saying he's not a monster without sympathy or remorse and apologizes for his mistakes that night um, of the incident, Tori said, <laughs> my brain, I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, Tori said Megan the Stallion was his friend, um, was a friend to him, and they both um, bonded over the fact that they lost their mothers and took full responsibility in his wrongs and once again asked for a chance to prove he learned his lesson. So listen here. I just wanted to get <laughs> Ooh, you know I'm I'm waiting, boo. I'm waiting. Hold on, let me put these on the screen real quick before I get to my talking points. Ooh, I'm waiting. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. Ooh, cause you know I wanna. You know I want to go in, Doc. You know I want to go in, and you know... <laughs> two minutes? Oh, my gosh. This is the longest two minutes of my life. All right, so... Please let me know when I'm able to, because I promise you I'm going. I'm cussing everybody out, but... <sighs> okay. So, it was a lot that I just read about what Tori said. I had some talking points, and I just, my boo over here keeping me on point. I like how you chucking me, though. I need them points. Just so I can prove that I can do it. I can go. I can not cuss everybody out, but I'll be wanting to, and this really was the problem. All right, so um, first point. So his lawyer's talking about, you know, the 10-year sentence. He didn't feel like that was... Fair. He said it's inc- incredibly harsh, extreme, claiming that the rapper is being punished because of his celebrity status. No, sir, that's not why he's being punished. That's a whole nother show. I should probably pre-record that show. It's talking about pre-recording. I got some things to talk about when I... Announcements. Remind me about announcements. So that's not why he's being punished. I just wanted to... um make sure all my top my talking points are covered um and trying to make an example of tori kind of sort of but no they already did that with tupac you're late um he says the tori's defense team is appealing well he has appeal so he can do that um i don't think that tori is going to do the whole 10 years like i promise you i don't but anyway other talking points um tory addressed the court before he was sentenced saying that he wanted the chance and, and has a son that needs him and he wants to better himself and asking the judge and all that blah, 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 blah. <sighs> all right let me see who my baby had to say because i need might probably need to calm down a little bit. It's a lot of things that I had to say about that. I am free. Hold on. I am free to talk my shit. Go ahead. Let's go. All right. So. All right. Now I can really get into it. So, and it's a good space where I can get into it because it's crazy. So, Tori, all of the fucking shit that you are saying to them did not matter to them. But you, I hate to say this because you're going to turn this into a you moment and it's really not a you moment, but they're not making an example of you, baby. They've already done that. That's happened. 
many, many years ago. I'm not going to make the reference because you already embody the reference as is. And um, I don't necessarily rock with that, but you're doing your thing. You're a Canadian, and that's how you feel like the Americans is supposed to. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, the further south you go, you got to get into the groove, but you're not the person that they made an example of, sir. So, all of that begging and pleading to the judge and your remorse and your sympathy, they don't care about that. You really, what your problem is, is you don't understand that you are a black man in America. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the day, all your begging and pleading, that, that gives them the opportunity to even make it worse. They they like that. Keep on begging and pleading. And go ahead. Ain't got a few appeals. Strategy should probably change. Um, Iggy Azalea, the white girl, she wrote a three-page letter. I don't even know why I'm getting right going to this, but it was connected to the story, so let's keep it going. She wrote a three-page letter, talked about how she, you know, um, Tori would have a job with her. And, yeah, hold on. Let me see what my baby got to say real quick. It's real, real talk. Oh, let's see. What you say, Doc? Doc 9, Doc Sav 912, I'm um, well, 912 said um, he in the cell 22 hours a day, only two hours a yard time. Yeah, but. Again, the reference that I don't want to give him so he could use that reference later, not on my dime anyway. Definitely not on my dime. But this is what happens when they get you and you're a celebrity. Are they trying to make it an example out of you, though? I don't think so. They've already done that. I feel like you did some shit. Oh, I'm on my time to cost. So anyway, you did. There's some shit that some people didn't like and they came for that ass. That's all I'm saying. <sighs> oh, but anyway, so Trinidad says shut up, Iggy. He's tired of your shit. He don't want to hear what you go and bust that down to. Basically, that's what he's saying. Let's move on. Uh, what time is? I'm trying to stay on schedule. Trying to stay on schedule. Oh, uh, let's get to Takashi real quick. Let's talk about Takashi. Let's get into it. Oh, mm-hmm. uh, wait. Before we get into because I don't, I got to stop doing moving too fast before you get a chance to say something. But yeah. <laughs> Doc, what you say, baby? Um, Doc Sav 912 said, that's my boo, that's my boo right there, employee of the show, by the way. Um, He harmed a black woman, this is wrong. Listen, I don't know exactly what happened, what exactly went down that night. I don't know if she was bringing harm to him, he was bringing harm to I don't know. But it's a lot, it, it was a lot of mixed evidence and I feel like they just, he, he had to go. Just because couldn't nobody really figure it out. That's what I say about that. No, no harm should come to anybody. Just Not just black women, but black men. Y'all be out there being, well, not all of y'all. Some of y'all stand up, really stand up men. I'm just, non-Brazilian, man, Brazilian. But anyway, some of y'all stand up, man, right? But at the end of the day, y'all, as black men, never talk about how y'all get, um, how y'all be to yourself. Black men get it too. Um, don't rush me, Doc. First of all, let me talk because now I can cut. Calm down. I'm getting to it. So Takashi got locked up and he got locked up for failure to appear. 
Um, <sighs> okay, so they got the book and photo that happened uh, on last Wednesday night or the, this week, this Wednesday that this passed. Um, the rapper was busted for failing to appear in court and brought to the um, Palm Beach County Jail. You know what's... All right, I'll get to it in a minute. Um, we did a little mug shot and was later released on a $2,000 bail, which is a, a bullshit-ass bail, but whatever. Because he didn't really do nothing. Listen. Um, the arrest stems from three traffic tickets Takashi received after he pulled over. Um, he was pulled over by the police in June for driving over the speed limit. Not that heavy. I think I got a lot to say about that, but according to the court documents, he he was going 135 miles per hour in a 65 miles per hour zone in Florida on the turnpike before he was given a traffic ticket for speeding. So his failure to appear was that. I do not think that Takashi is really going to be out here doing nothing crazy. I don't. I think he learned his lesson. Daniel learned his lesson. <laughs> Uh, no, baby, I'm getting to it. But Daniel learned his lesson. Unless we having a good time. You, are you rushing me? You're in a rush to go somewhere, but you got to go. Um, like, where you got to go, baby? But anyway, so, yes, Daniel, that's his name. <laughs> got money and acting reckless. <laughs> Yes, Daniel. That's his name. Daniel is not getting into anything. Daniel, let me say the whole government, Daniel Hernandez is not getting into anything, any trouble. He's not going to do anything crazy. You feel me? Um, to say the least, it, in, in reading that headline, I read it because I felt like in my soul. I know anybody that gets in trouble with the law, real names. I mean, well, not anybody, because some people I just don't give a fuck about knowing that information, but particularly him. I mean, he's been on my topic list for a very, very long time. And not because I really wanted to, but just because he do dumb as shit. Let's get to this academics and Erica Badu situation real quick, though. I know. That's why I'm trying to run it through, baby. I got, I got my shit to say, and I got to say it. I just can't read the story. I got to tell what I feel about it. And what I feel right now is I don't understand why um, academics... I don't know. He be on a warpath sometimes, and I'm just trying <laughs> to understand. Hold on. I'm trying to understand. Yeah, I, I be knowing niggas' names when they in my headlines and I can't get them out. Um Badu good petty with with that yeah listen. It's a lot. I think the first thing that I wanna understand about the situation is, is why do it matter to you what um Erica Badu Badu is not for uh Academics bullshit. Her um, cartoonish comments may uh, may have hurt. This is where it stems from. She said <laughs> she made a comment and she said he looked like a, a cartoon character. An academic has been feeling in his film. <laughs> I wasn't trying to go there yet, but sure. I, I love you for that because sometimes you push me to the point <laughs> so <laughs> she said that I was just reading a story but since I'm going to put that on the screen real quick while I read the story I feel like that makes sense so she said he looked like a cartoon character um, and it hurt his feelings so 
academics on Wednesday, this Wednesday, it just passed. Um, Erica went live on, this is what she had to say, um, following his bullshit that he had going on. She went live um, and fate, um, pump fate as if she was going to apologize to academics only to reintroduce her Baidu pussy perfume um, with the image of Jerry Mouse, a direct shot at academics because Doc already put it on the screen. She said he looked like <laughs> Jerry from Tom and Jerry. Um, the scent infamously is designed to smell like um, her lady parts and she says that that's what academics has been acting like oh like her vagina <laughs> he's a man John. oh my gosh all right so um, dj academics apparently still has lingering trauma from interviewing with erica badu five years ago i was doing something about this. oh my gosh which all spelled out with much audacity um, while discussing Tory Lane's case in the live stream. So Erica Badu said he looked like Jerry from Tom and Jerry. Listen, stop playing with Erica Badu, y'all. I'm going to tell y'all some real shit. Every now and then, I come in and I'll talk about... <laughs> Every now and again, I come in and I talk about, you know, my past experiences, me being right. And this is a crazy but funny, funny ass story, right? Stop messing with Erica Badu. This is my message. This is my warning. This is my, I really believe this in my soul and heart, right? <laughs> I really believe this in my soul and heart. So I was married for about six years, right? Well, what's this year? Maybe like, I don't know. I really got to count it out because how many years we see? But I, it don't matter. Anyway, I was married. <laughs> the internet was still kind of buzzing and growing and it was a lot of shit you could do on there that you didn't understand that you could do, but you was doing it and shit, right? And so I'll say this with my my ex, my ex husband. Um, you know he was he might have had a, a an another addiction. Tw Twitter was popping though, and the times I'm talking about, right? And him and Erica Badu got to talking shit back and forth on the internet. And I swear to goodness, she put uh, she put a word on him. She put an absolute root on him. Leave Erica Badu, and I'm not going to say, I don't know what his life is right now. I have not seen this man since 2010. I don't know, but I can't imagine that you playing with her and you everything is going to come out good. Stop playing with Erica Badu, y'all. Stop. Leave that lady alone. Her vibration is a whole nother vibration that you could never understand. Leave her alone. That's all I'm going to say. Whew. All right. I had to get that over my chest. Leave Erica Badu alone. I've been waiting to say that all day. Real, real talk. All right. Last, last bookie blam of the night. Leave that lady alone. <laughs> Oh, I'm scared to hold on. Leave that lady alone. She out here birthing babies. I feel like you can't mess with her alone on that alone. But leave that lady alone. Um, I don't know if she put a root on him, but I feel like she did. I feel like she did. Because him and Erica was going back and forth. Like they was having words. They was having war of the words. Hold on. I got put in this one. Um, they was having war of the words on the internet, on Twitter. And I'm like, yo, leave that lady alone. And yo was still going at it with her. But putting roots on folks is wild. You feel, I don't know if that's what she did, though. But I ain't going to say. Whatever. Leave Erica Badu 
alone. I not even I I'm I can't say I'm not scared of her. I don't know what leave her alone. <laughs> leave her the fuck alone. I swear to goodness, leave that lady alone. I I don't know how to feel about this, this news. Leave Erica Badu alone. Leave Leave Erica Badu alone. Anyway, um, cause it's a <laughs> leave her alone, y'all. Um, offset and quality quality control have us apparently come to terms. So um offset and his legal beef with quality control music, the label behind his music career. Um, as a member of the Migos has ended and um, with signs pointing to a settlement. According to Docs, um, Offset filed to dismiss his suit against QC with um, Prejudice um, with Prejudice Tuesday um, ending a lengthy legal battle in which Offset claimed the label was trying to control his rights and to his solo music and not honoring um, the deal that they struck. <sighs> um, sources close to Offset say that the superstar rapper won't be rejoining QC as a solo artist, but um, you know, they, they said that all disputes and differences have been smoothed over. So, I'm going to tell y'all what that means in a minute. Offset is currently releasing his music on Motown. Um, his most recent single features his wife, Cardi B. And um, he's not... He's got plenty of other songs in the works, too. Um, oh, I just, okay. I'm going to start reading this right now because... I just want to get to my point. Some money was spent. We all know that. That's just what it is. Some money was spent. Um, hold on. All right, let me get to my baby diet real quick. <laughs> I just be having stuff on my mind sometimes. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Don't be laughing at me. <laughs> Um, bad business being junky on contracts. <sighs> I got some stuff to say about this. Okay, so some money was spent. Okay. All right, I'm gonna get to that in a second. But some money was freaking spent. Some things with, and we talking. This is an old label. This is not like a, a new. <laughs> And some money put behind Motown still being ran right now to this day. Real talk. Think about it. Motown. The home of the birth of soul music. You feel me? Motown. It's still money being put behind it. It was some money spent. And the money was spent the right way. The right lawyers were involved. Everything was smoothed out that way. Um, no, he's not making no music for them no more, but they got paid. We already know what they did with the whole label in itself. And because the label, label got sold to the right people, that deal was being able to be made. Simple. Um, hold on, let me see before I get to that. So cool um, video for Jealousy. By the way, um, they redid Baby Boy. Re redid Baby Boy as a video treatment. I get tired of redoing. I need some whatever. All right, yeah, Motown got connections. Period. QC and um, gonna win in the long. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. QC was sold to who the fuck they were supposed to be sold to. And whatever he had going on with QC when QC was under the control of them niggas is a whole nother thing. But who can QC is under control of right now 
that's a whole nother story. And so the business is getting done and everybody's happy. That's the end of story. I don't know how else. It's time for love notes. Come on, baby. Put it on the screen so I can put that up and take it down so everybody can see. End of story. QC was sold to the right people. And the right people handled the business. And now them and Motown and all of that, they came to an agreement. And now Offset is making music for Motown. And QC is happy. Thank you, baby. Oh, see what I'm saying? I love how you work. You work so... Oh, I love how you work. See what I'm saying? I ask you for something. You bring it to... Uh, Doc. Love plus show notes equals love notes because we used to have a battle about this. I just gave up and let him win. Love notes. Let's get let's get to it. I know, baby, but we going. Sometimes we might go a little bit over, but not too far. I like how you check me sometimes. So don't ever get it twisted. Um, you told me don't rush you, but you three m- minutes early. Okay, but. Let me ha- move it how I need to move it, Doc. But I love how you hear. Take this love. Let me give you your flowers and stop playing with me. That's all I'm saying. Take this love I'm giving you. Take it. You don't understand. Y'all, unless you f- are my friend on Facebook, you will never understand some of the stuff like I might come out my head with, but let me give you your flowers and let me love on you the way I need to love on you. You can't tell me how to love you. I'm just going to love you. How I love you. And I'm going to move on my time because that's how I get down. And I'm going to put this on the screen real quick so you know. I'm not on your time. I'm on my time. Um, adjust the T speed. <laughs> right. Right. I'm both. <laughs> Doc. Stop. All right. Cause see, because. We not even gonna talk about the last show, but anyway, <laughs> love notes. We gotta get to the love notes. Doc over here is saying so. I'll probably leave that on the screen real quick while I get to these love notes. But stop playing with me. Oh, you ain't say nothing about my hair. How luck? This is my real hair. I'm popping. It's a lot of growth. Grew an inch or two. Wow, it was up under. I think I'm going back to up under, though. Um, let me get to my love notes. I'll get to the comments in a minute. <laughs> it's all love over here, baby. My top six. I love my top six. The United States, the United Kingdom, India, France, Germany, and Belgium, specifically Brussels. My babies, I love you all. Thank you for being so loyal to me. I love you guys. Um, Russia. Indonesia, Japan, New Zealand, Australia, Turkey, Switzerland, Canada, Mexico, Austria, Philippines, and Kenya. I love you, babies. Hi, honey, buns. Pakistan, Romania, South Africa, Nigeria, Brazil, Netherlands, Singapore, Spain, Japan, Ireland, Nepal. I love you all. I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. Thank you. Mauritius. Israel, Hong Kong, China, Poland, Tunisia, Venezuela, baby, Czech Republic, the Czech Republic, and Portugal. Hi, honey. I love you. Thank you for being here and all the love and stuff. I feel it. I feel it. They be hating sometimes, but I feel it. I understand it. Um, <laughs> oh, you like my little thing? You like my little curls? Um... Anyway, so it's my real hair, honey. Come on. Um, anyway, so thank you to my listening audience. I a big love. I wish those who were watching um would hit the like button or um maybe subscribe or whatever so that I can acknowledge you. Like I would love to acknowledge you. I would adore acknowledging if you'd be so kind. Anyway, so that was my listening audience. Big love to you. Shout out to anybody watching. Yeah, you know what I mean? 
Tell them that. Um, but big shout outs to anybody watching on YouTube, Twitch, um, Facebook, maybe, because they be hating on me a little bit, but we that's another day. But Doc said hit the like button. And I agree. I concur. <sighs> it's never a dull moment on the gay beat. It's always something to talk about. So I come through and I talk about it. It's a good vibe. Announcement. Um, so I can get through this. So I'm very serious about Thursdays and I'm very serious about um videos. I sat down and had a conversation with my compadre. He'll be here tomorrow night for the tape. And, well, I'm not going to speak too soon. Let's just say we putting some shit together real quick. Um, but I sat down and I had a conversation with my compadre. And he... I ain't going to lie. This dude being like my compadre. King Max. You know what I mean? He gonna be here tomorrow night, but that's my compadre. Anyway, so sometimes I might have an idea, and I might yes, period. Uh, I might need to spin it off somebody real quick. And he really, really likes. Sometimes he just be like, "All right, I'm listening, nigga." And if it's a good idea, he tell me, "All right, yeah, I like that one." If it's a bad one, he be like, "Yo, what the?" You know what I mean? So I do like that about. My God, you feel me? Um, big shout out to King Knox. See you tomorrow night. Uh, but I've been talking to him about this Thursday situation, and we also like came. Well, an idea came to me, and then I spun it to him, and then he spun it back to me, and it just worked. And so it's some things about to happen with this um Thursday thing. I'm getting back to playing videos. I got brand new videos um from new people, people who's been on the show before, new interviews coming up. It's, it's going to be crazy, but that's how Thursdays is popping off. I feel like I should fill off five days. Still having my Saturdays and my Sundays to myself, but I'm still going to kind of technically have Thursdays to myself too, but it's just going to be a lot of work beforehand. But some good things is about to pop, pop off. And I'm gonna get I'm gonna be able to get back to playing videos, which I love doing. Um, yeah, five is work, you feel me? But five is mine because it's the house that cat built. But uh <laughs> yeah, five days and then two days. Well, it's really technically still maybe four and a half days, maybe. And if I schedule it, then it's really not a day. I still get Thursday off, but it seems like I'm not on, off on. We, it's coming together. Um, so that's what's happening. Thursdays. <laughs> Thursdays is popping. Let me see. All right. So Thursdays is popping. We fell in that spot. I can't have four days. I got to have five days. Um... I said, what can I do to help the house the cat built? We going like I'm going I'm and I did oh 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 dot because I love how you email me that link so I could catch up on the whole mass appeal situation. That was a beautiful night for me right there. Love you for that. Thank you. And I ain't gonna lie, Lil Wayne drama, low key. I like this guy real quick, but um, we, I'm going to shoot you an email um, in the morning, probably not tonight. Nah, the big shout out to you because it was like I still had to work, but then I came back to you, caught up, and just life is good. Shout out to 50 Years of Hip Hop, and we're going to get to it tomorrow. But um, yeah, thank you. I appreciate you for that. Um, but yeah, so Thursdays is about to be a wave. Watch how I bubble. Watch. I'm just saying. All right. Other announcement. All right. You said, wait a minute, before I get to my other announcement, your favorite set was Snoop, but Nas closed it out. For real. You knew, you knew Nas was going to do that, though. Um, you already knew 
you time, and I wanted to talk about that, but we had other things on the agenda. He knew. No, that, that's his shit. He gotta come out and close it. Come on. Anyway, so, other announcement. Um, So, we talked about Thursdays. We got that popping. <laughs> chip, chip, nice. <laughs> I hope that he don't ever take that personal in real life because he don't understand what chip tooth noise mean to me. I had a total crush. I was a young girl. Things was popping in hip hop. He will never understand what that means to me. But yes, chip tooth noise. Uh, <laughs> all right, so we talked about Thursdays. We get that popping. It's a whole big thing. Is about to jump off. It was something else that I wanted to talk about, and you made me lose my point of thought. Talk about chip tooth noise. Dang. All right, whatever it is, I remember next show, and we'll talk about it. But <laughs> chip tooth. <laughs> he better not ever take that personal. He don't know. He was that guy when he had the chip tooth. I mean, he's still that guy. That dude didn't flip and did some other things and made some other things, but he was that guy when he was chipped too far. Let me say the things I need to say. No, you made me lose sight of one of my else. I talked about one, which was the Thursdays and how we going to spend the videos into why I didn't really give you the game plan, but I gave you the game plan. Oh, thank you. Now I'm back on point. Um, mm -mm. This announcement might sound Shoals Plans new music. I already talked about that, which was the Thursdays and how we put popping it out. But also, I got some um some amazing news. I've been going through working through some things. I'm just gonna say it like that. I've been working through some things. I've been trying not to say, but I got it now that I know what I know. I have a three-year plan to make some other shit happen with Ambitiously Entertainment. You feel me? And um, in that three-year plan, I want everybody to walk with me. Like, if you down, you down. And I'm going to make sure, and that went to one of your comments, Doc, but you down, you down. But whether you down or not, it's going to happen anyway. Because I'm more than capable at this point in time in my life of making this a success. So that's that. That was the other announcement. Not to sound cocky, like I said, but it needed to be said. Get down or lay down. I'm just saying. Uh, so there's so much that I can't tell you that. But just know that some good things are working in my favor. And that's the most high working, but, you know, also karma. It's a lot of things that play in that, but, yeah. It's not vague. Like I said, I want to um, create a network. I want to create a creative center. I want to create, I don't want to get in so many things, and all of those things are about to happen. Be patient. Not my work. It's working in her favor. But this is an empire. I keep saying the house that cat built, cat, cat built, but it's a process right now. Even we need help right now. But if we don't get help right now, trust and believe it's still going to happen anyway. Because that's how I work, and that's that. Um. So let me get to the things that I need to say that that need to be said. Um, we get down and lay down. That's all I'm saying. If you would like to come on the show, hit us up at ambitiously the podcast at gmail.com, ambitiously the podcast at gmail.com. Sponsorship, advertisement, uh, guest spots, uh, you have suggestions or whatever. Doc hit me up and I got I'm going to respond to his his email. Watch. I got you in the morning. Not tonight. I don't show nights, but then, <laughs> maybe show mornings, but not show nights. I'm um, join the conversation. Always, we are whatever. Whether you disagree, agree, 
whatever it is, just join the conversation. Let's talk about it. Um, drop a comment, call in. You can text 443-850-4828. I had to get it together. Or you can ask me to drop the link and I will as long as you're on your best behavior because we don't need none of your shenanigans. Videos are coming back on Thursdays and I already came up with a theme for the whole Thursday situation and I'm putting together the master plan but Thursdays videos are coming back. So if by chance a video is shown on this podcast, I have full permission. Trust me, I have full permission to play the video. That's what it is. That's what it was. Don't play with it. Um, Social media, IG, at Miss underscore ambitiously ENT, all lowercase. Uh, On Facebook, at ambitiously on the YouTube. Um, Ambitiously the podcast. (laughs) And you can put ambitious the podcast, or you can just put amb- or you can type out the long title, which is ambitiously the podcast, the black experience. But I just type in ambitious the podcast, it'll come up. Um, like, share, and subscribe to this podcast. We need all the love. Like it, share it, subscribe. There's some good stuff going down over here. You just playing with it. Check out the website www.ambitiouslyentertainment.com www.ambitiouslyentertainment.com If you would like to donate, cash at me at dollar sign, capital L-U-R L-U-C-I-D-I-T-Y If I take dot com and off the screen, you'll see it. It's underneath uh, um, the situation. I'm going to take them off. You always coming in and blocking. Doc, let me get my money. So, no. Um, Join our coffee. Um, coffee.com, ambitiously ENT, or if you prefer Patreon, patreon.com, ambitiously ENT, all in the description, except for Linktree, but all in the description. Uh, because they hate it on Facebook. Um, viewer.com, at ambitiously ENT, it's your, your option. You just, Rock with the team. We, I hate to sound like Floyd Mayweather, but we the one in the team. Just rock with us. We got some things going on. Shout out to King Knox. He'll be here tomorrow night for the tapping. Make sure you tune in at 9.30 on the dot. And then Doc is going to give us a final exam. And you're welcome to join in. And, and if you can guess the, the from the clues that he... We only get five. So if you can guess within those five, great. And you got to beat my score, which is three. Doc is two. And Knox is 0.5. Um, and then the audience is zero. So join in the conversation. Look, join in. Get down. Well, again, or we'll lay down. Um, big shout out to my DJ. Go DJ. Because that's my DJ. Rue Casey, Um, He give us a hell of a fire mix every Friday. Um, and so big shout out to him, big love to him. And let me know how y'all feel about that mix once you hear it on Fire Fridays. You gotta tune in. Oh, okay. That was a lot to say. We this is my doc say my baby doc say if nine one twelve. I mean nine twelve. I keep saying nine one twelve. Nine twelve. Doc said nine twelve. Um, and what my baby said is because he employee of the show. That's why he, he's talking to my baby. He's employee of the show. We are worldwide. Don't mess with Erica Badu. Leave that lady alone. Leave her alone, y'all. And if she put a, a root on you, then you probably deserve it because you kept rooting her on. And she said, leave her alone. She a whole nother vibration and you keep playing with her. Leave Erica Badu alone. Seriously, let her love, leave her alone. Mess with the vibration, and that's why if she do put a root on you, that's what you get. Um, top flight catching vibes with Cat Lee, and you can see the mix. Magnificent, how can you say magnificent house that Cat built? 
I'm just saying it's the house that can hold on. I gotta put this on the screen. Bro. It's the house that can. So listen, I've come a long way. And I'm in my conversations, because I have conversations with the people that I connect with that, you know, help me out with the show. My DJ, my fucking co-host, you feel me, slash it's some old other business, but what I will say is this, um, because Knox has been around since when I first started on my own, my DJ has known me since I was 17 years old. These are people that kind of know kind of a little bit, a little something about me. Um, I've come a long way. So this is why this is my moniker. This is the house of Cat. The house that Cat built. You feel me? Like, can't nobody take that from me. I built this house. I made this house. And um, it's not what Wednesday, but the, the house of Cat. The house that Cat built. This I made this. You know what I'm saying? This is me. I built something from nothing. I'm not letting nobody take that away from me. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. I'm sorry. I'm just not. But anyway, first things first. Let's get to it. We got to get out of here. I might go over sometimes, but I need some things understood. They need to be understood. This is the house that can't build. I built it. Uh, <laughs> And it's still building, and I can use all the help that I can get. Don't ever get it twisted, but this is the house that can't build. First things first, mind your business. Everybody's business is not your business. And sometimes we have the tendency to mind other people's business. If you want to mind business, come here and meet me on Mondays. We're going to talk about it. Mm. We never know what I'm going to say out of my mouth, but we're going to talk about it. Make sure you tap in. On Tuesday, tomorrow night at 9.30, same time, we're going to have a conversation about some other things. But the point is, mind your business. Love your babies. Hug your babies. Really, really, you know what I mean? Give them the encouragement. They need that. Um, school is about to start back up. I can't wait to start giving my speeches again about how great they are. Remember to get, tell your babies, and I'm not doing that tonight because I can't even find it, but that they are the growth. Go. They are the greatest of all times. Like they are extraordinary. They are what's going to keep our legacies going. They are going to keep everything going fast. So you might want to encourage them to be great. You feel me? Um, if they want to work for NASCAR, tell them to be the best. Yeah, the goat. Um, the best pit boss, uh, NASCAR driver, commentator. Whatever they do at NASCAR, if they want to work for NASA, then tell them to be the best astronaut, engineer, secretary, janitor, receptionist, whatever it is that they want to do, just tell them to be great at it. They are the GOAT. We need them. Who else going to keep it going? So tell them to be the best at it. Um, stay in your lane because you jump in my lane, you're going to get her. Hold on. Oh, wait. I can't hear. Uh, I know what's going on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I don't like that. I can hear. That's whack. Okay. Let's do it again. <laughs> you get her. You do not want her. She's not nice not a nice person then you'd be all mad when you find out that she's not nice you kept playing with her don't push the button um, don't break the glass and don't push the button that's what i tell people every day and i've been dealing with this a lot lately but don't break the glass and don't push the button like just chill chill you want her hold on she is sweet kind cute and cuddly She's great. She's extraordinary. But sometimes y'all be playing with her and stuff. Don't do that. Just love on her. You want her or at least her. His baby. <laughs> but I'm praying I'm a happy, 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 happy girl. And you like her. 
more than anybody, but the point is to stay in lane. You jump in other people's lanes, what usually happens is a collision, and who the fuck needs that? Nobody needs that. Nobody needs that. Stay in lane. Um, Choose your battle wisely. Every battle is not a battle that you need to fight. That's You don't. Worry about the war. Don't worry about the battle. And everything will be good. Okay, so... Doc said, okay, um, that was a previous message, but I just want to make sure I get them on the screen. Um, the go, because the kids, they are, they the greatest of all times. They are our future. How can they not be the goal? Um, hold on. You couldn't find it, so I tried to help <laughs> you put in a put it on the screen. Yeah, I couldn't find Thank you, baby. I don't know. I've been rearranging some things in the studio, and I don't know why I keep doing this, because I'm going to have to rearrange my whole life soon, but whatever. Um, it's the feng shui for me. If it is not meshing well, it's not meshing well for me, and then I got to change it around. But anyway, Doc, I love my Black man, not Brazilian, but Brazilian man. I appreciate you so much. We're gonna talk about it. I'm gonna I'm shoot you an email in the morning, not tonight. I'm a little tired. My day is leading up to this. Like everything leading up to this point. I wanna go to bed. But I I appreciate you. I do. I do. But I'm not putting whatever that uh picture is from freaking little avatar picture from Twitch on here and saying you my employee you want an employee of the show plaque then I need some real some real I, I can't do this that's not gonna work for me right um but I appreciate you sir I did um so with that being said good night be safe stay out of trouble I'm trying to tell you I'm staying out of trouble as much I'm I'm not that girl anymore. I'm out here chilling, trying to live a peaceful life, and you should too. With that being said, bye, y'all. Good night.